what's up you guys, Nick here, and you may recognize me from such videos as am I faster than my dog? Or am I faster than an electric scooter? I'm not afraid of any head-to-head -head challenge, and today I'm racing something I've always wanted to race. That's right, it's a go-kart. All right, here she is. This beautiful beast is 375 pounds, and we're at this beautiful camp, Camp Harlow. If you're looking for a summer camp, there isn't a better one around. And they have this incredible track that's exactly 135 meters around. Let me introduce you to Miss Macy LaPre. She works for us at Run Gum, and she happens to have a lead foot. I will race an all-out lap, then you race an all-out lap, okay. then we'll go head-to-head. -head. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's get it warmed up. All right, and we've got a beautiful sunny day here in Eugene, Oregon. Kind of rare for this time of year, but when it's bright out, I reach for my Bose Frames Tempos. Not only do they do a great job blocking the sunlight, but they also have integrated speakers that pump music directly into my ears. They're lightweight and they'll stay on my head no matter how much jumping or sprinting I do. And with one touch controls, it's super easy to activate them and get music bumping into my ears. Check them out in the description below. All right, I'll time you, you time me. Sound hey, good? Sounds good. All right, I'm nervous for this, Macy. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, everything I got for my time trial here. Come on, Simmons. Runners to your mark. All right, and the bison's off the line fast. One of the challenges of this short 135 meter track is it's not banked. You really have to crank your body to turn around these corners. I hit the halfway at just about 11 seconds, and you see me struggling to pivot around those tight turns. As I hit the home stretch, I dig deep, I go to the arms. It's an all out sprint and a lean at the line for 21.28 seconds. 21.28. 21.28 for a curvy 135 meters. That's the time to beat. Here we go. See what you got. All right, next up, it's Macy LaPre. Her dad, Sam LaPre, is my business partner at RunGum, and her brother, AJ LaPre, world-famous YouTuber, is one of the inspirations for my own channel. Macy LaPre, I've known her since she was just a kid. Let's see what she can do on this course. Three, two, one, go! All right, young lead foot, Macy floors it. You can see how much slower the go-kart gets off the line, but it does handle the corners way better than my old legs do. I have a feeling this is gonna be a bit of a cat and mouse game. It gets off the line so much slower, but its top end speed is probably greater. Let's see where the final time for this lap comes in. As she hits the home stretch, it's everything she got. Full throttle for a 23.5 second lap. Woo! 23.52. So 21.28 for the human, 23.52 for the machine. I'm so much faster off the line, I but I think the, the machine corners better than I do. Yeah and it has better endurance. So I'm asking you this. I feel like this. I can do it. I'm asking you this. <laughs> yes. Where do you think we meet up? I can obviously beat you in one lap. Okay. And you can obviously oh. beat me in 10 laps. So where do you think we have like a really good race? Four laps. Four laps it is. Let's do All this. All right, let's Four do laps it. Four laps coming at you. <laughs> <sighs> And look at this epic slow-mo start that Ryan showed us. It just goes to accentuate how much better I am off the line. You know, this is an internal combustion engine inside the go-kart, and it takes a while for it to get full torque. But now, as we come across the first lap, it looks like I'm about, oh, maybe 10 meters ahead of the go-kart. But can I maintain that lead? As the go-kart gets up to speed, I have to think it's gonna catch up. 21 seconds for the first lap for me, 24 seconds for the go-kart. It's definitely a cat and mouse game. I look over my shoulder and I see Macy start to close on me. She's laughing knowing that she's not gonna get tired and I'm gonna get more and more tired each lap. Now let's see how close it is at the halfway point as we come here at the end of the second lap, it is Old Man Bison, 44 seconds, 45 seconds, and the go-kart is less than a second behind me. Macy, with her superior driving skill, she's gonna have to figure out, can she make the move to get around me without taking me out at the ankles? Coming down the back stretch, it looks like she's gonna go wide. 
and she beats me to the corner. In the back of my mind, I recognize that she's leading with a little overlap to go. I know I have to match the move. This is going to be a sit and kick race if ever I've had one. 106 with one lap to go, 107 for the bison. I really have to maintain contact or she's about to run away with this. It hurts, I'm tired, but I'm digging deep down the backstretch knowing I have to maintain contact. Guys, this is gonna be a kicker's game. Let's see who has it with 20 meters to go. I dig super deep, I go to the arms. It's gonna be a lean, it's gonna be a photo finish. Who has it? Is it Macy in the go-kart or is it the old man running? It is Bison for the win, a minute and 28 seconds. I can't believe I just beat the go-kart. I think you might have gotten me. It was oh, close. It was a good race. Huge shout out to Macy LaPrey and her incredible driving skills. I'm just glad you didn't take me out at the ankles. What? I, th I thought you might. It looks like I'm faster than this go-kart. We should take it to the next level next week, Ryan. You know we should race? A Tesla. That's next week's video. My turn in the cart. Let's do this. Ah! <laughs>